Hi to everyone, welcome to this new video on Git. In this video, I'm going to show you how Git authenticate in Windows against a server like Azure DevOps server. And this is needed to understand what happening, what is happening behind the scenes and how to troubleshoot login uh, problems. As an example, I have one account of mine. I have one private repository. I'm copying the URL of the repository. And now I'm going to issue a standard gate clone with the URL of the repository. What is happening is Git is trying to contact the server. It asks for the blob and the server asks for authentication. Now Git for Windows already includes a Git credential manager that kicks in this UI. And this is a special UI for Azure DevOps server. And it does not require you to have installed any other plugin. Git for Windows has everything you need. It just use the right login for the right service. Now just let put it your login information. As you can see, you have all the support for everything your login is requiring, like two-factor authentication. You don't need to install everything else. Just git clone and git for Windows uh, understand how to login against um, your remote repository. Now, if you go into the new folder, you can issue a git fetch and it is contacting the server and you're not required to log in again into your server. So that's because Git has a plugin that can cache actually your credential. And it's important to understand what happened behind the scene. So first of all, let's try to understand how it's Git actually login, logging in into your server. So if you go into your user settings, you have personal access token. And personal access token is the place where you have all the tokens that were generated against your user. And when you create a new login uh, from Git command line or, or from any other Git client, it is actually creating one new access token for you. And you can see I have many of them because I use in many um, test virtual machine in this account. And you have a lot of um, token with a get semicolon prefix that it's identifying all your token generated by your um, GitHub command line, get the command line. If you just order by expiries on uh, the shending, you can find that your your first token is the latest one you've created by your Git command line. And it has the maximum duration of one year and it is a, a standard token. So you can click and you can revoke or you can regenerate if you need. Now let's try to understand why each time you are issuing a Git fetch, Git does not ask you for another login. So actually where the generated token is saved in Windows, the response is credential manager. Just click on start and search for credential manager. And this is where Windows is storing credential for various services. And as you can see, you have a nice new entry that corresponds to the newly generated token. So that is where Git for Windows stores information. And it is the reason why you are not asked for login each time you issue a Git fetch or a Git push. Login are cached into this place, Credential Manager. It is important that you know this fact because you can enter some login problem if the token is revoked or something like that. There were problems in the past that were that um, were actually resolved, but let's see what's happening if I'm taking this latest generated token and I revoke. Now that my token is revoked, if I'm going to issue a git fetch again, Git is trying to reuse my 
previously generated token storing credential manager, and it gives me a fatal authentication failed. The problem is you can be stuck here asking yourself what's happening, what's happened, and you can try to raise you again and Usually the tool is smart enough to kick in another um, login windows because it understands that the credentials are somewhat, um, are somewhat um, expired. But if you are stuck into an authentication failed, and okay, if you um, undo the login, you try to login by command line, but if you are stuck into this situation, just remember, go to your credential manager and completely remove cached credential for your services because this will help you um, log in, kicking on the login again. As you can see, I've got an error because that credential was already removed. There were a bug years ago where you are stuck into this situation because the get for windows credential manager plugin didn't remove automatically cached credential when the token is not valid any, anymore. And this is now fixed. So as you see, after the first failed login, you get the, the standard um, login windows kicking again because the credential manager was removed. So I can try to log in again. And if I refresh Git Credential Manager, here you are, you have your new token saved on Credential Manager. And this means only that you need to be aware that Windows Credential Manager exists. And if you have some trouble logging in into your Azure DevOps server from any type of client, um, command line, Visual Studio or whatever, just try to go on uh, a credential manager, Windows credential and manually remove all generic credential that can be already cached into your system. And if you don't want to regenerate the token each time, when the token is about to, uh, to expire, you can also regenerate again. So I'm sorting on expired on, here is my newly generated token, and you can always regenerate and reinsert manually into credential manager. And it's a um, standard way on avoiding, if, if you have any problem with the automatic login with the Windows login kicking in, you can generate a token manually and then you can add your token into Credential Manager without any problem.